Checking your battery is a simple matter. In this video, I'll show you how to use a voltmeter, and uh, we will make uh, sense out of the measurements with uh, the help of this uh, light bulb that I took out of the uh, kids' electrical toy kit. The condition of your batteries in many of your devices is uh, has no bearing whatsoever on your life too much. Uh, the remote control is a convenience item, electric toothbrushes are convenience items, devices that use these button cell batteries are convenience items. One thing however, the smoke alarm in your home is not really a convenience item. The condition of the battery inside a smoke alarm can mean the difference between life and death. So we'll start with the smoke alarm. This was beeping as you can hear like this and was keeping me awake in the night. I, uh, I walked up to it, it was mounted on a base plate uh, attached to the ceiling and uh, there and tested it and it seemed to be fine but then I thought hmm, I'm gonna check this battery. We're gonna check and test the battery with this tester. It's got these two probes that are attached to it and uh, we'll be testing voltage so I will select voltage and you can see numbers running on it don't worry much about those numbers as, uh, as uh, this one is sensitive to static electricity as soon as you touch the probes uh, all the numbers go back to zero and uh, you also have a minus sign here so it's minus 0.0, .0. Don't worry about that much, it's just uh, the device is just showing you that uh, the LCD uh, the display is working properly. Also in the corner here we've got a little DC. We are checking uh, direct current. These batteries use DC power, direct current. So let me just take out this beeping battery because it's still uh, bothering me. And uh, let's actually check the battery that's in it. Uh, this device will just measure the battery uh, voltage automatically. Uh, you can hook the probes up to the battery this way or this way. It doesn't matter much. Uh, one way you're going to get a negative number, the other way you're going to get a positive number, but it's going to be the same number. So let's try it this way. There we have a negative number. 8.03 8 volts. There, take a good look. 8.03 volts, okay? And uh, to get you an idea how bright this light bulb can be with the charge of 8.3 volts, I will hook this one up to this battery and uh, watch out how much this light glows. There, that much. Okay. So uh, I was thinking. Well, there's not a lot of glow out of this battery, and I, uh, and as you can see, uh, this is a 9 volt battery. We're just waiting for the camera to focus. There we go. And I thought, well, if it's 9 volts and it only gives so much light when it's at, uh, I'm just rounding it up to 8.1, um, it seemed to me, uh, uh, that it doesn't have a lot of spare juice in it but that's just how batteries work the this other battery let's just put it on a tester real fast here it's got 8.8 .8 volts of battery uh, sorry of 8.8 uh, .8 volts of uh, charge in it there and uh, just for contrast See how bright it makes, uh, see how bright the ball becomes. There. I think the contrast is uh, pretty obvious and speaks for itself. A battery with 8 point, a 9 volt battery with 8.8 .8 volts is uh, fairly well charged and a battery with only 8.1 volt is uh, flat and ready for recycling. The same principle applies to these uh, 1.5 volt batteries, these button cells or these triple A's or these double A's. These are all 1.5 volt batteries and we are gonna test them in a line in a lineup like so. 
Look, come back here. And actually, I'm gonna do it this way so you can see this. We'll uh, start with that one closest to the tester. Uh, 1.047 volts. I'm just gonna round it down to one volt, okay? The next one is uh, 1.443. I'm just gonna round it to 1.4. So the first one had one volt, this one has 1.4. This here has 1.6. I'm just gonna round it to 1.6, okay? And this last one is AAA. Has, whoops, has uh, 1.181. Uh, I'm just gonna round it to 1.2 volts. And uh, let's see in uh, terms of uh, brightness what they can do with this uh, light bulb here. So, first, 1 volt. Uh, remember the nominal charge in these batteries is 1.5 although we measured one of them is 1.6 so uh, let's see how bright one volt is uh, I don't know if you can see this well enough but uh, it's so faint it's, uh, it's got to be it's got to be this close to the camera to even see anything out of it. There, that's all there is to it. That's a one volt battery, okay? That's uh, basically garbage. The next one in line is uh, a 1.4 volt battery and I'm expecting a lot better result from this one and there we go it's uh, definitely brighter than anything before sorry than the uh, one volt before okay there 1.4 volts and then we'll take a look at this one that says 1.1.6 volts just a sec just gonna hold it together like that There, that's on, that's disconnected, then that's on again. Okay, that's how bright the bulb is. There's not a lot of difference uh, between a 1.4 and a 1.6. And uh, this last one was also, a, well, this was a 1.2 or so. And uh, yeah, that doesn't even, doesn't even make the little filament glow in it, okay? So, because it's a AAA, it's uh, skinnier, it stores less charge than a AA, and uh, 1.2 of a AAA is not even as bright as the 1 volt of the AA. Okay, same principle applies. Uh, these little button cell batteries, they could be 1.5 volts when they are fully charged, but uh, yeah, this one is 1.2. I would not be surprised if uh, if this one or three of these wouldn't power your uh, your clock or alarm clock or uh, whatever these came out of. So the, the the same principle applies to pretty much all batteries. A few decimal digits down from their nominal charge, they are pretty much flat. So a 1.5 is uh, functioning at 1.4. And maybe 1.3, but at 1.2 it's not. And uh, this one at 1.2 it was not even making the filament glow. And uh, like these ones, 8.8 .8 is working fine, but uh, 8. Point, sorry, this was the 8.8, .8. and at 8.1 it's uh, barely even uh, lighting up this little light from the kids' set. Okay. So uh, check your batteries, test your batteries, put fresh battery in your uh, smoke alarm and uh, uh, smoke detectors. Make sure it's got at least 8.5 volts of charge in it, okay? Be safe out there.